Okay, hey, okay, all right. This is uh, this is still Memorial Day, and I'm still uh, still doing my part for uh, for the vets. And uh, if you don't haven't heard my prior spiels, I, I just uh, you know all the wars we've been involved in have just been for for money. They've been for taking somebody's resources away from them, or for our ability to control those resources. Uh, uh, None of these countries, you know, posed a danger to us. Uh, none of these people posed a danger to us. We've gone into backwards countries with people so poor, it's just pitiful, you know, living on 50 cents a day, and then we go in there and we slaughter them and, uh, so that we can control their resources, and it's really pitiful. And uh, they send our young men as cannon fodder uh, for corporations so that corporations can make billions of dollars and CEOs can get paid a uh, million dollar, uh, 20, 30 million dollar salaries and bonuses every Every year and of course so our president can stand up and say you know patriotism you know and we're looking after our vets and you know you know let's uh, uh you know uh, what, what do they say you know back to back the vets you know uh, uh support the troops you know you know it's all bullshit you know it's all this rah 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 but when the troops come back is when the true story is told we have 22 a day commit suicide and that's what this is all about and i'm saying our veterans are paying an awful price they have Hollywood made commercials. Yeah, I'll be an army of one. Sail seven seas, delivering democracy for honor and fun. So you run to your recruiter, duty bound and all aglow. They fill you full of deceit and lies. To a war zone? Oh, hell no. They tell you that boot camp is, well, it's just like Club Med. It's filled with fun and camaraderie, and boy, do you get fed. So on the dotted line you sign, your patriotism at all time high, they tell you that the 13 weeks will be a cakewalk to get by. You enter as an atheist, you thought religion wasn't a worry, then you find that you're ostracized. If you're not Christian, you're not worthy. They indoctrinate with dominism, evangelical charismatic crap. You better get it right, my friend, or they'll wedge you your jock strap. They tell you it's a holy war and you're fighting on God's side. And when you kill those damn Muslims, you'll feel God full of pride. So it's really very simple, recruits. They're evil and we're not. So kill with extreme prejudice. You'll be an unfeeling robot. You're no longer who you are. Your individuality is destroyed. They want mindless automatons who won't worry if they die. So off to the war zone you go. For country and faith you fight. You're forced to kill women and children. Then convince yourself it's all right. You watch your friends get blown to bits. Big soldiers don't cry. You go out in the street tomorrow. The enemy must fry. Superiors send you out each day. Atrocities mountain mount. They tell you they're not Christians so their lives just don't count. They told you that our fight was for freedom and democracy, then you found that it was just for all they want, just plain hypocrisy. You found our country's global game is to own all the resources. If we don't own them right now, we'll take them with our forces. You saw your representatives shaking hands with known terrorists, and then you wonder why you sacrificed your life for the easy gotists. You go into depression, you can't look yourself in the face. The doctors give you some good drugs and they shove you back in the race. You're wounded in the last month of your tour, at stateside you will go. They promise to take care of you, your benefits are shared, don't you know? Here you are in your hometown, my God, things have changed. You can't look anyone in the eye for what you did, you're so ashamed. Those drugs that they filled you with are no longer there for you. You can't find a doctor to prescribe, your depression returns anew. The benefits they promise, well, that's just not how it works. We have hundreds of thousands of guys with lots of little ticks and quirks. You just have to tough it out your way back in the line. We'll try to get you next year if we can find the time. Racked by PTSD, nightmares frightening your mind. You're running from the memories, trying to leave them far behind. Your doctor bills are adding up. You still can't find a job. The benefits they promise you, just something else that they robbed. You see your picture of yourself in uniform and full of pride. You think back to all the crap. Hey, they filled your life full of lies. You no longer like yourself. In fact, it's clear to spies and you decide to take your life like your friends is suicide. So 22 veterans a day take their life because they can't live with themselves for the atrocities they try to keep secretive. And that's very sad.